Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cooks with Iron. Uh, I'm outside today before the sun goes down and while it's not hot, and I'm going to work some in my garden. So I'm getting prepared to do the garden. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I have growing now, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to my planters, and then the little bit of garden spot that I have. So let me turn the camera around and show you where I'm at and what I'm gonna do, and I'll get started on that. Hang on just a second. Okay, so in these three planters here, I have garlic and onions. This one I need to pick the weeds out of. Um, I have garlic growing in them from last year that I went and picked out of my garden that I had till, but I don't till anymore because my tiller broke. So I'm about to do stuff in containers this year. And then I also put in here rotten fruit and eggshells. So I put that stuff back in here and let it recompost itself. So first off, I'm gonna get started with cleaning out these three planters. And then I have these buckets here. If you heard in one of my other videos, what I'm going to do is this pipe here that you water in does not match the hole underneath it. There's a hole in this bucket somewhere. But when I water, then I have to figure out where the water's coming out at. And that's it's hard to find, it, especially when things are growing, you can't see. So what I'm gonna do is dump the dirt out. I'm going to redo the inside, put line the pipe up with the hole and then I'm going to put everything back in there, just shovel the dirt back in there. And I'm gonna do that on each one of these. And this one's got some asparagus growing in it. And uh, I'm gonna keep it growing in this one, but I'm still gonna have to turn the thing around. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna empty this one out because it's broke on the side. And I'm gonna probably exchange it with one of these back here. These are just all filled with soil from Leon's greenhouse. So I'm gonna have all of these extra and then when I dump soil out of one of these, I'm going to set this one of these up on top of there so that they have more room to grow down when anything grows over the sides. And then here is my only other choice for a garden. This was a greenhouse that I had, but the plastic keeps blowing off all the problems. So what I'm going to do is um, pick a lot of this grass out of here, and then I'm going to dump those buckets of soil over in here and then I'm going to plant plants over in this thing. It's got a little border. It's hard to see, but it's got a border, a lot of wood chips. It's really good. I just got to get it started before the grass really overtakes it and I can't contain it. I'm going to turn it this way, and <clears throat> maybe you can see these other two. I can pretty much keep everything pulled up out of these pretty easy because it's just loose soil, and there's not really anything that I have growing in these. But the problem I have sometimes is that the grass from the ground grows up underneath them. I pulled up one of my plants, so I'll plant it back in here. You know what's funny is I threw an old onion in here that was rotten and it is starting to regrow. It even had roots on the bottom. I didn't mean to dig it up. So I'm gonna put it back in there and let it continue its re-life cycle. Here's an old potato. During the winter, I throw all of my old rotten vegetables in here. And any of the times I cut off strawberry tops or anything like that, throw them in these planters because they just compost it for next year. When nothing's when nothing's really growing. Okay. So 
like I said a while ago, it's easiest if this pipe is near your hole. When my husband drilled these out, they were all clumped together on my back porch. So he just drilled wherever he could find a spot at to drill because everything was so smushed together. Then when I started picking the plant, picking the vegetables off the plants, um, it, everything was growing, so everything was so clumped together I couldn't get in between and see anything. So this is how I'm gonna do this. This may not be the best way, but this is the only way I can think of. Ooh, these are heavy. Dump these over. Okay. Now, I've got my two corrugated pipes. First, I've got to find the hole. It might be easier to find the hole. There's my hole right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn these this way. Then I'm going to put my pipe right here, which is right here by the hole. Then I'm going to put this back in here. If I would have known, I would have done it right the first time. But I didn't know. Okay. So now, I'm going to go get me a shovel or something to get all this back in here. Let me just say, figured for what I was doing that this would work just as good. So, instead of picking all this up, putting it back, dump the next one, I'm just gonna take what I have in here and I'm gonna put it in this one. So I'm not doubling up everything that I'm doing. This one still has pieces of tomatoes in it from last year. I just let the tomato bushes die. And so this is what I have left over the soil from last year. So when I get down to the very last plant, I'll just have to bring the bucket down here and fill it up with this that I have on the ground. Now, I don't know how much I have left, but let me see if I can pick this up. I don't know if I can or not. I can't just dump this over in here. This is not required, not required at all. Don't think that once you do this, you have to do this every year. If you go look at Leon Sloan's greenhouse, he's a uh, Leon Sloan on uh, YouTube. Arms Family Homestead does this. Uh, Dutch with Keeping It Dutch, they all have buckets like this. Do it this way, then, um, don't think that you have to do this every year. I'm only having to do it because I didn't do it right the first time. Hi, Toby. <laughs> Daddy, Toby died. And there is not a specific way that you have to do it. It just makes it easier when your pop is near the hole that you made that way when you water through here you can see when the water level gets high enough and it leaks out through that hole i had some i had the pipe here the hole was over here when i would water i couldn't see the water coming out on the other side i thought another bucket was leaking by the time i found it i had had way too much water in there it was kept coming out the side so it's easiest if you have the pipes lined up with this pipe lined up with your hole. And then you put these two pipes in here, which gives them air for the roots to grow. And then you put this heavy duty um, landscaping fabric in there. And it helps the wick up the water to the plants. So that's kind of how all this works. And if you look on YouTube on Leon Sloan's Greenhouse, he will explain to you how it works, why it works, doing it on a large level, on a small level. He explains all that to you. So if you want to really understand, 
the I guess dynamics behind it. That's who I would go look to. Okay, I'm gonna stop this here because you don't have to see me do every one of these buckets. Now, on the asparagus, when I get to it, I'm just gonna dig down with my hands as far as I can and pick it up and set it into another bucket. That way it can hopefully, possibly keep growing. So I don't wanna kill it, but I do wanna get these centered correctly. So I'll be back in a little bit. I've already got about four scoops of dirt in this one. I just dumped out, got the holes aligned. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's see if it does. Let me dig down in here and see if I can pick up this asparagus like this. It came up pretty easy and two pieces came up with it. So I'm gonna to try to do this for, looks like that's a tree. For all of these, oops. I dropped that in my shoe. Watch. I guess it's not gonna matter by the end of tonight. Okay. And then, Oh, wow, that asparagus root is huge. I don't know if you can see that. So hopefully, this will keep growing asparagus for me if I do it this way. Now, what I'm gonna do is add a few more buckets of this soil around in there. And hopefully, My asparagus will go back. My mom gave me this asparagus and said, her dad gave it to her and she didn't want it anymore. She had no place to plant it. So I told her I would take it and try to plant it. So it was almost dead in the package, but I took it and planted it. And this is what I've come up with since last year. Just let me move, I think you can see them when I move. Pretty good and tall. Okay, I'm gonna finish these last three buckets and I'll stop for the night. I'm gonna finish this video. I have soil all over my hands and my phone and uh, I'm running, down, running out of battery. I've got 9% left. So all I've got left to do is this last one right here and I can't seem to point at it. This last one right here is the only thing I have left to do. So I'm gonna get these completed. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my phone, wash my hands and then come outside and watch my girls play. We'll talk to you in a little bit. These girls are best of friends and always playing together. They're swinging in high heels because they love to go get dressed up. Play, dress up, run around. Love having them around. 